back. Pentagon, the solution, of course. Now, David, you come in here each night very respectably dressed, very well behaved, but you are a larrikin. <laughs> uh, so you've confessed this from time to time. And I'm not going to sit here and deny it now. Um, I do love the word larrikin, and even more so the stories attached to larrikin and the uh, conjecture about where the word comes from. Now, there are several <laughs> theories, as you'd expect, with a word Ow. like this. It's essentially well, a word like hooligan or imp or lout, a mischief maker. Now, one theory is the link to a boxer who was very popular during the 1860s and 70s called Larry Foley. And uh, we have his name um, already preserved, possibly, in the phrase, Happiest Larry. He was quite a uh, charismatic figure and one of the first to actually be a gloved boxer. And uh, also, we have him preserved in the phrase to be to give one Larry Slow Dooley. Down. I'll give you Larry Dooley, Richard. Oh, that one. Oh, it's an old, it's an ochreism, essentially, to give someone a, you know, a bit of a punch A bit of biff. That's exactly right. But where does Larry <laughs> link in? Now, it's possible that uh, because of his charisma and his mischief, the word is linked to him. But it's also possible that the Irish brogue version of larking, when you're larking about, if you actually say that a few times in an Irish accent, it does start to sound like larrikin. There's another theory, too. In thief's slang, or thieves slang, I should say, there is the word uh, leery, which is obviously to be watchful, and a kinchkin, which is a child. So a watchful child, often a brat or a street imp, might be on, on the lookout, a larrikin. There's also a link to the French word laron, which means thief. Laron and larrikin is not such a leap. And lastly, possibly a little bit more extenuated, is the echo between the word larrikin and leprechaun, another mischievous sprite from that same old country. <laughs> that seems a very long shot. It's an amazing number of options. And what an extraordinary detective story for one word. It is. And, uh, the case is yet that to be solved. It's still me. one of those cold Sorry, cases. Sorry, I didn't know you were there. Well, it's nice to see it's still open. Thank you, David. What's Let's this? have a look at those scores, and they are absolutely I level. I... 14 points each for Esther and Liam. As we go into our so next much for a letter game, game and uh, Liam, this time, your choice to make a selection. Uh, can I have a, a vowel, please? You can. Thank you, Liam. O. Oh. And, and another vowel. Get... E. And another vowel. Slow please. down. You. <laughs> And a consonant. C. And another consonant. <laughs> Excellent. Can I have another consonant, please? You may. T. And another consonant. S. And another consonant, please. D. And another consonant. And let's finish with an N. So and much for a hiding oh. turn. Slow down. Turning. <laughs> well, Liam, you said excellent when the X came up. I don't know whether you meant it or not. How many did you get? Five. And Esther? Eight. OK, let's hear your five, uh, Liam. Sound. And your eight, Esther? Contused. Contused? Uh, is that something to do with bruising, perhaps? It is, and uh, literally means uh, to strike together. So when two bodies uh, have strong impact, often bruises result. And it's a sound word. Well done, Esther, for an eight. Lovely. So a very strong eight for Esther. Let's move on to some more letters. And uh, Esther, well, we heard Liam saying excellent for an X as he selected that. Uh, but uh, you may not want one. No. <laughs> Choose some other letters for us, if you okay. would, please. Uh, can I have a consonant, please, Lily? You can. Thank you, Esther. Let's start with an L. And another consonant. D. And a vowel, please. E. And another vowel. A. And another consonant, thanks. S. And a consonant. A and a vowel. I and a consonant. M and somebody. Consonant. <laughs> and lastly, T. And here's the clock. Please. Okay. Turning speed. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Turning. <laughs> How 
How many for you this time, Esther? Uh, seven. And Liam? Seven. What was your seven, Esther? Uh, Platted. Could you spell that for us, please? P-L-A-I-T-E-D. Thank you. And Liam? Dampest. Dampest. David? Both excellent, uh, both good for seven. And um, there is a word here that's uh, medalist with a single L, which is the American spelling, but uh, the source dictionary also acknowledges American spelling as an option when it comes to uh, possible words. Thank you, David. Seven points each for Esther and Liam. That means Liam is on 21, Esther on Must 29. have been my imagination. Time to tangle with some Turn. numbers now, and uh, this time it is Liam's selection. Thank you. Could I have one big one and five small ones, please? One big and five small. Thank you, Liam. I just got kicked by a cone. And numbers are five, three, another five, another three, two, and the large number is 100, and the target to reach is 378. Let's head there right now. this now liam you have a different selection approach to esther but uh, how did you go three eight three okay a little way off the target esther three eight five so uh your method please liam um, five plus three is eight five plus three is eight divided by two <laughs> is four divided by two is slow four. down then 100 minus Turn three it. is 97 100 minus three is 97 Multiply the two together, gives you 388. <laughs> 388. Then subtract the final five, gives you 383. 383, correct. So, Liam, five off the target there. Lily, did your calculations take you right to the target? I did work through right to the end. <laughs> take us there with you. Okay, now five by five is 25. Um, three minus two is one. Add that on is 26. Now, 100 plus 26 by the 3 gives you 378. It does indeed. And all that happens inside your head. Very good to see. Thank you, Lily. Seven points to Liam, bringing him to 28. That means he is now only one point behind Esther on 29. It's still a very tight competition tonight. Let's head for our next break and our word mix. This time, greet hot. And your clue, don't go this one alone. See you in a while.